Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1839, the Detroit Boat Club forms and still exists. In 1861, Jefferson Davis was inaugurated as provisional president of the Confederate States of America. Also in 1861, with the Italian unification almost complete, Victor Emmanuel II of Piedmont, Savoy, and Sardinia assumes the title of King of Italy. In 1876, a direct telegraph link is established between Great Britain and New Zealand. Wow, that was a long wire. In 1879, sculptor Frederick Auguste Bartholdi is awarded a patent for his design of the Statue of Liberty. In 1884, police seize all copies of Leo Tolstoy's What I Believe In. In 1885, Mark Twain publishes The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. In 1896, The Cave of Winds at Niagara Falls goes almost dry for the first time in 50 years. In 1899, it was 80 degrees Fahrenheit in San Francisco, California today. I lived there for a long time, and I don't remember the city ever getting that hot. In 1901, H. Cecil Booth patented a dust-removing suction cleaner, and then he came up with a better name for it. Vacuum cleaner, perhaps? In 1903, in Dahomey, the first African-American musical to perform on Broadway opens at the New York Theater. In 1908, today is the first time U.S. postage stamps are sold in rolls. Also in 1908, the American ambassador to Japan is given a note by the Japanese in which they agree to restrict Japanese immigration to the United States. This informal restriction becomes known as the Gentleman's Agreement. In 1909, the Boston Red Sox trade 41-year-old Cy Young to the Cleveland Naps. In 1913, Pedro Lascarain becomes president of Mexico for 45 minutes the shortest term to date of any president of any country ever. In 1922, the Capra-Volstead Act allows farmers to buy and sell cooperatively without the risk of prosecution under antitrust laws. In 1927, the U.S. and Canada opened diplomatic relations. It seems like that should have been way before 1927. In 1928, Sonia Henney of Norway wins the Women's Figure Skating Gold Medal at the St. Moritz Winter Olympic Games. This is her first of three consecutive titles in the event. In 1930, the dwarf planet Pluto is discovered. Also in 1930, Rodgers and Hart's musical Simple Simon premieres in New York City. In 1930 as well, Elm Farm Ollie becomes the first cow to fly in a fixed wing aircraft and also the first cow to be milked in an aircraft. I was going to look up more about this one, but then I thought I'd just let it go. 1933, Yoko Ono is born. In 1939, the Golden Gate International Exposition opens on Treasure Island in San Francisco Bay. In 1943, the Gestapo arrests 21-year-old German resistance fighter Sophie Schul and other White Rose activists. They were executed for criticizing the Nazis. Also in 1943, and in Germany, German propaganda minister Josef Goebbels demands total war from German citizens. In 1944, 15-year-old Joe Nuxhall signs a contract to play baseball with the Cincinnati Reds just one day after playing in a high school basketball game. In 1951, three City College of New York basketball players admit to accepting bribes. In 1952, the fourth Emmy Awards were today. The Red Skelton Show, Sid Caesar, and Emma Jean Coco are the big winners. In 1954, the first Church of Scientology is established. Speaking of Scientology, also in 1954, American actor John Travolta is born. In 1960, the eighth Winter Olympic Games open in Squaw Valley, California. In 1965, Frank Gifford announces his retirement from football in favor of broadcasting. Also in 1965, Jimmy Lee Jackson is beaten and shot during a peaceful march in Alabama. His death inspires the Selma to Montgomery civil rights marches. In 1968, British guitarist David Gilmour joins progressive rock group Pink Floyd. I wish he and Roger Waters would finally work out their issues after all these years. In 1970, the Chicago Seven are found not guilty of conspiring to incite riots 
at the 1968 Democratic National Convention. Also in 1970, U.S. President Richard Nixon launches his Nixon Doctrine. In 1972, in the case of People versus Anderson, the California Supreme Court invalidates the state's death penalty and commutes the sentences of all death row inmates to life imprisonment. In 1975, the second American Music Awards happens today. Olivia Newton-John and John Denver win big. In 1977, the space shuttle takes off on its maiden flight mounted on a Boeing 747 shuttle carrier aircraft. Also in 1977, American rock band KISS play their first concert at Madison Square Garden in New York City. In 1978, Hawaii hosts the first Ironman triathlon. In 1979, snow falls in the Sahara Desert for the only time in recorded history. Also in 1979, the miniseries Roots Next Generations premieres on ABC TV. In 1980, Billy Wyman said he will leave the Rolling Stones in 1983. It didn't happen. In 1984, East German figure skater Katarina Witt wins her first of two consecutive women's singles gold medals at the Sarajevo Winter Olympics. In 1986, anti-smoking ads air for the first time on TV. In 1989, Clint Black's single A Better Man is released and becomes the Billboard Song of the Year. In 1902, Charles F. Tiffany, the founder of the jewelry company that bears his name, passes away. In 1995, today Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee get married, but I'm not sure which of their weddings this one is. In 1998, Italian sensation Andrea Bocelli makes his operatic debut as Rodolfo in La Boheme. In 2001, American stock car racer Dale Earnhardt Sr. died from injuries suffered during a crash in the final lap of the Daytona 500. Also in 2001, FBI agent Robert Hansen is arrested for spying for the Soviet Union. He is ultimately convicted and sentenced to life imprisonment. In 2003, nearly 200 people die in a subway fire in South Korea. In 2004, up to 295 people, including nearly 200 rescue workers, die in Iran when a runaway freight train carrying sulfur, gasoline, and fertilizer catches fire and explodes. In 2006, American speed skater Shani Davis becomes the first black athlete to win an individual Winter Olympics gold medal when he placed first in the men's 1,000 meter long track final at the games in Turin, Italy. In 2010, the website WikiLeaks began posting classified U.S. government documents. It was believed to be the largest unauthorized release of state secrets in U.S. history. In 2012, Katiri Tekakwitha is canonized as the first Native American saint. In 2013, $50 million worth of diamonds is stolen in an armed robbery at Brussels Airport in Belgium. In 2014, after winning the first of his two consecutive Olympic half-pipe gold medals in Sochi today, American David Weiss wins his second in Pyeongchang four years later. In 2017, American activist Norma McCorvey, who was the Roe in Roe vs. Wade, died at age 69. In 2019, a British parliamentary committee issues a scathing report about Facebook, accusing the company of breaking privacy laws and calling for new regulations on the company. Also in 2019, 16 U.S. states band together to sue President Donald Trump over his use of emergency powers to build a border wall. In 2020, the Boy Scouts of America files for bankruptcy amid hundreds of sexual abuse lawsuits. And finally, in 2021, NASA's Perseverance rover successfully lands at Jezero Crater, Mars, on its mission to find microfossils. It is a rainy, blustery day, or a Winnie the Pooh day, as my family would say, so you might as well watch some more of my videos. There, I queued some up for you.